guess what? I've seen uh, the solution for a problem I've had for some time. I present a lot of things on Teams meetings, and I've wished for some time that we can get past that awkwardness when you go to share something. Let's do this now. I'm in a meeting with two people outside of my organization, and I'm going to share a presentation. Now, I'm going to do this using PowerPoint Live because there are a number of different benefits to doing that. Uh, let's present it. I've got the document open on my desktop. It's been saved to OneDrive, so that's a critical thing. You've got to have it saved to OneDrive or your team. It's got to be in the cloud. So I present in Teams. Now that little signal there is going to say to Teams, Daryl wants to present and PowerPoint Live, so let's do that, present. And it's going to present it now to um, my two guests. All right, so that's what we've got up on the top of the screen. And this is a wonderful monitor here from LG. It's called the Dual Up, and it means I can connect two laptops. Demo people over here, Daryl over here on work laptop. Uh, this is demo laptop experience of the presentation and Daryl presenting down here. Don't worry, I'll explain all that with little labels. So uh, Daryl is presenting, and in this uh, work laptop, I can see my live PowerPoint experience. I can see the slides. I can see things that are coming up. And uh, for things like being able to put links in there or videos, I can benefit from playing that locally so that my guests who are watching this from Teams at their end will see the video play without any of that jumpy kind of frame stuff that happens if you're trying to do it from a shared desktop. Now, I also need to demonstrate a lot of things in um, my kind of role. So I'm talking about uh, being able to create a loop workspace. I want to switch from my PowerPoint Live over to the window where I am going to demonstrate that. Now, what would I normally do if I <laughs> been doing this for years? Okay, just wait for a moment. I'm going to stop the presentation. So I'm stopping the PowerPoint Live. Yes, I am. I'm now going to share my screen. Now, you might notice for our guests or attendees of the meeting, they're now seeing me in this grid form. And as I go and find the right window, I go to the share button in the Teams meeting window. I go and find that window and I'm trying to share my window because I don't want to share my desktop. I want to keep things reasonably uh, you know, isolated from my the rest of my work. It's good practice. But the challenge with this old way of doing it is that it's so clunky. All right, we'll do this. We'll share the window. All right, so a few seconds later, uh, I'm starting to ask from my audience, uh, can you see my screen? Good, now we can go ahead and demo. Uh, and then I've taken them through a process there. I stop sharing, so I go back to my meeting window and I stop sharing, and now I go back to my presentation. So I will go <laughs> to my PowerPoint for one example, click present screen or present in Teams, confirm present in Teams, and then we're back into the flow of the presentation. Now, there are sometimes delays with PowerPoint Live because it, it takes a little while to catch up and find uh, where we were where we were presenting from. So I'm going to go through this again, but I'm going to show you a, a new way that I discovered. It's been around for a few months. I've been able to swap and share windows uh, without having to go through that slow process of stopping and starting. So here's our PowerPoint live on our screen. I'm going to go through one or two slides as well because I want to show you how I can go back to the last place where we were talking. So um, Laura, Daryl, we're up to uh, this great statement we're making about this amazing software. I'm going to show you some of this software now. And here's where the magic happens. Instead of stopping sharing PowerPoint Live or stopping sharing my window or desktop, um, I'm going to go and hover over the window that I intend to share. Now, I've seen this for a while, as I said. Um, and I saw this share window button, but I've never, never really used it. And to be honest, I haven't seen anything from Microsoft telling me how to use this. No hints, no coaching marks, nothing really in, in um, I guess, promotional material. But I tried this this week as I clicked on share this window. 
And then I click share. Okay, so I'll wait before I do that. Notice my guest is still seeing PowerPoint Live. So watch, watch what happens next. I'm going to share this window. And I've confirmed that. And it goes from my PowerPoint Live within a second. It's now gone to my window that I want to share. Now, let's say that I wanted to show them something in PowerPoint now as a window, never mind the presentation. So I want to swap from demonstrating in loop to the uh, PowerPoint application. Again, I hover over the window that I want to share. I click share this window. So I get a little preview of what that is. I click share and look at what my guests see. Just a brief glance at the gallery of people. And then we're straight into the application that I want to present from. Um, and if I wanted to go back now to that slide in PowerPoint Live and benefit from all of that, I could do present in Teams. Uh, we also know that I can do this from the, the uh, well, I could do it from the share button in, in the Teams meeting window. But if I just slide over here and show you, I would have to stop presenting my or stop sharing my window and I would have to then choose the, the document I want to share. So the key thing here is that you do or should have your PowerPoint file open on your desktop so you can easily just click present in Teams. So it gives me that quick uh, hint there of, yes, I want to present that. Um, it loads it up now on PowerPoint Live and then it takes me back to where I was in, well, it gives me the option on screen to resume and then I go. So I want to just go uh, back through that same process just to show you as a recap how quickly we can swap around those windows. Remember, it's all about using Windows 11, hovering over the window that you want to switch to, and then confirming that. So here we go. I presented something about getting started. So now we're going to go to demonstrate the loop application. Let's do that now. Well, we hover over there, click share. And we're up and running. And then we do a few things, type a few things in there. And now I want to show another window. So I'm going to hover over the PowerPoint, for example, share that window, switches over within about a second. Great. No hassles of stopping and starting. And then finally, we're going to go back to our PowerPoint Live and continue covering some of those concepts. We present it in PowerPoint Live. There's a little delay as it kicks that off again. And then in my presenter window, I get to say, yes, I want to resume from slide four. We are as at beforehand. So I think this is a huge improvement on how we were managing our windows. Uh, I know that the, the big workaround is just share your desktop, Daryl, and make sure that you've got what you need there to be able to switch and uh, go around. But I do want to take the advantage of using PowerPoint Live to be able to play that live content locally for people as they um, consume it from that side. Uh, and this is a great way to just switch around. Now, there's probably, I think, opportunity for improvements, being able to speed up that switch between the different application windows. Let's go through that again. I think that if I wanted to present this window here and then click share, that I don't think that, well, this went straight into the window uh, for what I wanted to share, but between windows, share this window, click share again, you'll see that it briefly shows the gallery of people and then goes into the window. And I think that that could be improved if, if we are able to just hover over, share this window, click share, and I don't want to see the gallery, I just want to go straight into that window. Uh, and look, I think the the experience for our guests on our meetings is far, far improved. Uh, it also, for a presenter, means that I don't have to keep talking uh, as I'm switching things over to almost like fill the dead air and introduce uh, something. I've, I'm able to just keep that flow going smoothly between the different applications that I am presenting and sharing from. And it's really quite intuitive if you think about it, that uh, if I need to switch between windows, it's just all about hovering over and then clicking on the um, window that I want to share. Share that. There we go. Cool. 
I really enjoyed that discovery. I know that might have felt a bit long-winded, but I, I wanted to demonstrate that. And as you can see, there's a bit of a complex kind of environment about how I've done that. Uh, so uh, hopefully this has helped to draw you into this experience and see how good it is um, and how helpful. Uh, so do, if you are using Windows 11, you are using Microsoft Teams, then think about sharing from the window along the taskbar in Windows 11 and controlling it from there. And if you do want to use PowerPoint Live, have the PowerPoint open as a file on your desktop and you can use the Present in Teams button to manage going back and forth uh, into the PowerPoint Live experience. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to tune out. <laughs> it's late here. See ya.